Good morning. The bulls seem to be doing some festive shopping on the bourses and that too paying premium prices. Fears of any are being conveniently discounted as the key indices are within sniffing distance of all-time highs. Another bright start is in the offing and the global queues are also supportive. We see the Nifty testing new record high in the coming days with 6,150 as a strong support. The dollar appears doomed to some extent as the Fed is all set to flood the markets with more bucks. Weakness in the greenback is driving the rally across risky assets such as stocks and commodities. High yielding currencies are also spurting, forcing some policy makers to intervene in the forex market. The RBI could also follow suit as the rupee is likely to climb on the back of strong foreign inflows into the Coal India IPO. Enforces results and inflation data are the key near-term events apart from developments in the world markets. Brace for some volatility and perhaps, of course, a correction too is expected next week. Shares of Ashoka, Buildcon Limited, CTV Network Limited and Bedmutha Industries Limited will get listed on the bourses today. The results to be declared today are Axis Bank, Infotech Enterprises, Kernex Micro, LIC Housing Finance, Mastech, Rallis India and UTV Software. The FIS will net bars of Rs 21 billion in the cash segment on Wednesday provisionally according to the NSC website. Local funds were net sellers at Rs 13.54 billion. In the FNO segment, the foreign funds were net sellers at Rs 13.16 billion and the FIIs were net buyers of Rs 7 billion in the cash segment on Tuesday as per the SEBI website. Mutual funds were net sellers at Rs 3.37 billion on the same day. The other news for the day is Coal India to invest Rs 27.85 billion in 20 beneficiation plans. IOC, HPCL and BPCL may have to absorb part of the losses which have been incurred on sale of subsidized LPG and kerosene in the first half of this fiscal. The government is set to divest 10% of its stake in IOC and 5% in ONGC next year. Tata Motors eyes larger market share in utility vehicles market. JSW Steel Limited is considering putting its overseas coal and iron ore assets into a unit for a share sale to fund expansion. Lanco Infra ties up funds for power expansion projects. Bajaj Holding picks up 12.8% in National Multi-Commodity Exchange of India. Dabur has completed the 3.24 billion rupees acquisition of Turkey-based personal care products market Hobi Cosmetic Group. OBC has requested the government to provide Rs 10 billion as capital support to enhance its business. Tata Tele Services has changed the roles of top four officials weeks before rolling out the 3G services. Government has asked Cairn Energy to resolve royalty cess issues before the stake sale. Apollo Hospital and British Medical Journal Group teams up for mobile health services. Government is looking at next round of capital infusion in PSBs. FDI in India dipped for third consecutive month by about 60% to 1.33 billion US dollars in August. Indirect tax collection climbed more than 44% in the first half of the current fiscal YOY. Thank you and have a great day ahead.